Hello everyone, it's Jeremy Parrish again for Retronauts, and this is the second ever Cartography stream. That's right, it's Cartography because I never met gross pun that I didn't like. Didn't dislike. Whatever. Anyway, hi. Um, thanks for joining me. The game Metroid turns 30, well the US release of Metroid turns 30, on August 4th. 2017. That's like two weeks from now. And so to celebrate this occasion, I am playing Metroid. And what I'm going to do is map it here with this little mapping paper I've got. You can check it out. And uh, stream the process live and in real time. So please enjoy. You might notice that um, I have... Uh, set up here with the um, the Japanese version of the game and that is because it has better music and also it has a save feature so I don't have to write down the passcodes that makes a big difference so we're going to play in slot 3 here as you can see I've streamed this game before but so what I've streamed it before but I've never mapped it before so, without further ado, let us jump in to Cartography, the first attempt to map Metroid. And uh, there will be some pauses here as the Famicom disk system loads, and I might have to switch over the disk at some point. I think as soon as this, uh, this stops loading, it's going to say, yo, set side B, buddy. And that is okay. That is part of the experience. Yep, there we go. Okay, the disc is inserted. And oh, and I dropped the controller because I was going to pick up the ma uh, mapping pen. There is the possibility that this stream will collapse inward on itself because the Famicom disc system is somewhat unreliable technology, although this was a um, this was a brand new diskette when I opened it up last year, so it should be in good shape. No grubby little fingers have ever touched the exposed diskette. All right, there we go. So here we go, Samus materializing, showing up in Zebus. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to treat each screen as a square on the map paper. Uh, let's see. So I kind of have the advantage of knowing how this uh, this map works. So I know there's a little bit of a, um, a hidden area underneath the entrance to Zebus, but there's a huge uh, shaft leading up to the top, which will eventually take you to the end game. So I'm going to start things off here in Zebus. And I'm going to mark this as the start point with a blue pen. Okay. So you can check out the cool ink pen that I picked up in Japan last time I was there. It is not any better or worse than an American pen. It's just got a funky design on it. All right, so how many screens over was that? That was two screens, wasn't it? My god. All right, that's as far as we go this way. So I will draw in two more screens. And a green dot for the Maru Mari, also known as the Morph Ball. But back here in the distant past, it is the Maru Mari. And I might even put enemies in here. I don't know. Should I do that? Should I do like a little dot to say, hey, there's a bad guy down there. Why not? And there are two bad guys up here. That's probably going to get tedious. I don't think I'm going to keep doing that for very long. But whatever. The Maramari, of course, allows me to go back through here. Look, it's those guys. I already killed them. But that's okay, because they give me delicious, juicy health. So let's see, that is one screen over. Two screen... oh, no. One screen two screens. Okay, so the door is two screens over. Come back so that I can kill you. Oh my goodness. 
Enemies respawn like crazy. You forget that about these old games. Alright, so... That will have to do... Let's see, we'll do blue for the blue doors, because that is color correct and very satisfying. Oh, look at that! Look at those blue bubble doors, my god. I see people are watching this. Hello, if you've just joined the stream. I've only been streaming for a couple of minutes. Okay, there's something down there, but I can't go down yet. I don't have the bomb. I can't believe people actually whoops, want to watch me uh, map of an old video game, but hey, I'll take it. Let me fold that down so it doesn't flop open. All right. Whoops. This room goes downward because that's what happens in Metroid. You have rooms that go over and you have rooms that go down. I'll try to avoid pausing whenever possible because the music is so good. And this is the Famicom Disk System version, so the music is slightly gooder than you are used to, if you are an American who played the NES version. That is a lot of bad guys. See, I don't think I should try to mark them all down. It's going to get tedious. Maybe someday I can do a bigger version of the map. Alright, so that little thing hanging down, that is one screen. to three screens. There's a cool hidden thing up there, but I can't even shoot it to expose it. How many screens was this? That was three. Crap. I can't talk and count at the same time? My god. I'm trying to do too many things here. Play a video game and talk and map and keep count. Alright, so... One screen over, two screens over, three, and whoa, four. That was four screens. Ah, ah, ah. I love to count. One, two, three, four. Gonna put ourselves a little blue bubble in. Not Bublun. That's the Bubble Bobble guy. That's the wrong game. I said Bubble In. And I also will put in the hidden tank because I'm cheating with advanced knowledge from the future. Someone, let's see, uh, Mr. Seven Clay says, you still like the NES music? Fine, yes. The NES music is very, very good. Um, I'm just saying the Famicom Disk System is, has a tiny little edge, but they're both great. Alright. Off we go into this wild blue yonder known as Metroid. So this is going to be really tedious, because this shaft goes on forever. So that's one screen, two... Four, five, oh, that was a very bad idea. Where was I? Six, seven. And eight. Man, that goes a long way. Goodness. What a tall, tall shaft that is. It goes a lot faster when you don't try to kill every bad guy, though. Let me tell ya. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and... Oh, right, there's that thing there. So as you can see, I'm already running out of paper, because this game was not made for a tiny notebook. No, sir. It was made for a big ol' sheet of graph paper. Alright, so... Keep 
going. That's one more. And two. This is the third screen up. What majesty will we behold here? Nothing that I can make use of, sadly. One, one, two. One thing that helps for making maps of this game is that you know that every room alternates its orientation. You have vertical rooms and then you have horizontal rooms alternating, and they change every single time. Wow, there's lots of chat happening in the stream. Let's see what people have to say. Um, oh, just, just people bantering among themselves. You keep that up. That's great. I'd like to see you guys having a nice conversation. It beats people being rude. There's been enough rudeness on the internet today, I think. And in the world. Just in general. It's a rude world we live Rude world we live in. Alright, so... There are one... Two... Three! Three screens up. And at the very top... There's that. So, one, two, three. And there's only so far I can go here, but let's go ahead and map that room anyway. I'm doing this all out of order. It's terrible. And this book keeps flopping open. Sorry about that. Let's see if that works a little better. No. I'm trying to orient this, sorry about that. Okay. That's better. Alright. The logistics of doing this dual camera stream are a little fussy. I apologize for any inconveniences. I don't think this is what God intended when they invented uh, streaming. No one said, hey, what if some bozo streamed a video game and a camera of him mapping himself, mapping the, the game himself? So two screens. Uh oh, it's these guys. Two, and that's three. Oh, God! Oh! No sadness, oh! kind of lost count here. I think we're up to like five screens. And, oh, 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 six, and a missile door. Damnation. All right. Let's say that was six. So two, three, four, five, six. I think that was right. I'll try to count again on the way back, and I'll also gather some health. I gotta stop being so hasty. Listen to that monster shriek! That was crazy! What the heck? It's like this game used entirely different sound technology than we're used to. Hey, that guy respawned already. Why don't one of you guys just die? See, normally you think, oh, I should pick up the health capsule. But there's actually an advantage in not picking up health capsules dropped by these guys, because it keeps them from respawning. Oh, now I'm in trouble. I have pincered myself. Why would I do that? Oh, pfft. So busy looking at the threat from above, I didn't pay attention to the one right below me. At my feet. Okay, well, I have mapped this room, but it was a terrible idea. I should not have done that. I'm not ready. I need the red door missile power. All right, so let's go on back down, shall we? Hmm. 
Hmm, yes, it's much faster this way. Well done. Alright, so... I have to decide what I want to do with this map. Should I map on this page, or should I switch pages? I think I'll switch pages, actually. Yeah, let's do that. So I will mark down the map here. And... Switch over to the next page. Because this map is cumbersome and big. Right, so we were right about there. Okay. Let's just make this the same room twice. So we are in another shaft, because that's how this game rolls. And I think I will start by going down, because that's where the missiles are. Oh wait, the long beam is actually up. Oh, but I need the missiles before I get the long beam. Ugh. Remembering all these terrible things. Okay. I see lots of people uh, in the stream sympathizing with old Nintendo Power editors having to do photos two screens. Actually, that was one, two. Three. And four. And this is the bottom, right? Indeed it is. It's nice that there are so many safe spots here. Safe spots. I could just stand around and let you guys listen to the music while I draw maps. Is that showing up on the screen? Yes, it is. Okay. ACAV31 says the picture looks dark. Yes, that's because it's really difficult to position a uh, webcam over top of a piece of paper without uh, all kinds of shadows, so you're gonna have to deal with it. Sorry! That's just how it is. The logistical issues of doing a live stream like this in ways God never intended. That's right, this is an abomination. Thanks for watching my abomination. Alright, so two screens... This guy again. Three screens. Four screens. And here, oh! Here in Magic Screen 5, we have, yes, missiles. That was some weird sounding music. What's up with that? Alright, I gotta pause for here, because otherwise those guys are gonna blow me up. So, one, two, three, four, five... But it keeps going. One, two, three, four, five... Oops, that's not the color I want. There we go. A missile. Uh, let's see, Nahuel CC says, Are you going for the world record with the speed run? Yes, I'm going to be the fastest person ever to entirely map Metroid on a live stream. Thanks for watching this brave attempt to change history. Crap, that was another screen, so that was six, seven... And eight. All right. Oh, I see. We 
we've come to another zone. So, seven, eight. And this is not the right direction. I need myself a long beam before I head down into the hell that is known as Norfair. So, let's backtrack, shall we? Because that's the Metroidvania way. Sir. Oh, though. Why can't Samus jump? Perhaps it is I who cannot jump. Sorry, I got the meme wrong. It's why can't Metroid crawl? But close enough. Why can't Tori read? Man, why don't you guys drop some stuff, huh? There we go. That is what I am talking about. Oh. That tiny little spiky bastard. How dare he. Oh, oh what? I hate when those things get stuck in the doors. Spiky Little Bastards. That's their official name, by the way. It's in the manual, Spiky Little Bastards. Every Nintendo manual had a secret obscenity in it. Kid Icarus had the, the topless harpy, whose boobs you could see. Metroid had the Spiky Little Bastards. How are we going? Oh, we're going okay. Alright, so we are almost halfway through this first stream, my goodness. Uh, it is 5.20 p.m. on the east coast of the United States. I don't know what time it is where you are, but here it's gin time. So I'm going to flop on back to the previous area so I can get that long beam because long beam is our friend. It's very important. Sure, that is reading okay. All right. Stay down, dude. There we go. Okay. So, if you are just joining in, congratulations. You've decided to watch one of the most ridiculous stream concepts ever. That's right. I am playing the original Metroid. Uh, for some reason, apparently, the stream says it's Metal Gear. But that is because YouTube has a habit of being very wrong about the games I'm playing. For whatever reason, the game I previously played seems to be stuck in its craw. So yes, this is Metroid. Actually, last time I played Mario Sunshine, how did, how did that even happen? How did it fall back to Metroid? Or Metal Gear, that's weird. Anyway, this is Metroid. I am playing Metroid because the American version turns 30 years old in a couple of weeks. And I am mapping it as I play, because that is how we played back in the day. So here I am, two screens into this room. Whoa, that guy's really big! And red. Big red. This is a big red one. I played that game. Just kidding, I didn't actually play it. So this room is four screens long. And there's a red door at the end. This time, I'm prepared for the red door. So, let's... What? That was bad. I just marked on the page. Okay, so, let's scoot this over a little bit. It's falling a little bit out of frame.
And we have the long beam. Whoa, that was a weird sound. I don't think I can bomb through ah, that passage down there. Nope, it's just a dead end wall. Okay. So I can safely say this map is complete. That map section. Oh, I need to close that in. Alright. Uh, let's see. Okay, someone says, are, where are, are you, Jeremy, on the East Coast? Yes, Raleigh, North Carolina. That is where I live. Okay. Nice try, buddy. And so once again, I backtrack, which means I don't have to mark the map, which I'm sure is a relief to everyone. I can't imagine that's very thrilling to watch, but it is part of the process. And we go down and back over, and this time I'm going to head up. I think I probably did not handle this section of the map very well, though. I should have oriented it differently. Okay. We are good. And now it is time to head upward. Let's keep track of how many screens up we're going. That's one. Three. And four. Is that as high as I can go? No, it keeps going. My goodness. Oh, yeah, okay. It's a dead end. So five up, and on the fourth screen, there's that thing. So one, two, three, four, five. Yes, this is Jeremy Counts Boxes. Uh, someone said they're in Kerry. Hello. Welcome, or not welcome, but welcome to my stream. Neighbor? Guy? Um, I don't know what Supercon is, so I did not go to that. Sorry. What is Supercon? Oh, you mean Super Famicon? Uh, I have not been to Super Famicon before, but if you're talking about the, the event in Greensboro, I will be speaking at this year's, actually. Uh, there will be some sort of Retronauts panel at that event. So if you live in North Carolina, you can look forward to that in November. It's a while still. Gotta make it through summer first. Oh, I need the bomb! Someone did not set us up. Up us the bomb. Okay. Well, I blew it. Back down the shaft we go. I wasn't even counting how many screens that was. My god, what's wrong with me? Got all distracted. How many screens was that? That's one, two. Okay, I got three screens over before I had to bail out. All right, so I'm going to draw those three screens worth of map, just so I can say I've accomplished something, despite my doddering and, and incompetence here. And it's time to go get the bomb. Oh! Oh hey, I've got the long beam now. I forgot about that. That's neat. Alright, so... Two, ooh, two screens. I think that was two screens. Oh my god, I've lost count already. I can't even count to three. Well, I did major in art, so I feel like I am allowed to be bad at math.
And I should be better at this. I've already mapped this game. This was the first game I ever mapped. It was fun. That's two screens. Three. And four screens across. Okay. That is just dangerous. What is going on in there? One, two, three, four. I know better than to fill in the ground on this screen because it goes down. I've learned my lesson. Unfortunately, I can never remember which of these is basically a dead end and which has the wave beam or ice beam in it. I always go down the wrong one and then I have to reset. All right, so one screen. That was three screens across. And another one of these guys. What's up with that? I guess I don't need to pause on that one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Oh my god. I've got the worst butterfingers. It's terrible. Uh, let's see, Peter Bostrom says, how can you tell how many screens you're passing? So it's very simple. I look for a piece of geography, like a platform, at the far edge of the screen, and once it scrolls completely off, that's a screen. It's a very, very scientific system. So here, if you look at the platform that I'm standing on, the ground, uh, the way it works is, see how it comes to an edge, end right here? That's at the edge of the screen when you enter the room, so that is one screen. So once that scrolls off completely to the left, then you're on screen two. Okay, now I'm on screen two. And see, conveniently there is that spirally, whirly gig thing. So once that scrolls off to the left edge, that will be screen three. And screen 3 has an E-tank, or energy tank. I guess it's not an E-tank, that's Mega Man. Alright, so this is screen 3 of this room. I would like to say that there's some kind of really cool scientific process to what I'm doing, but it's pretty much just me winging it, as one does when playing old video games. It's fair, the uh, developers were also winging it at the time. Just making things up as they went along. Four. Five. Six. Ah, that's a long ass room. Seven. All right, seven. Hope there's enough space on my map. Just barely, okay. So, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to scoot this over just a little bit. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Messed up my mojo. Okay, so let's see. How did that work? That is my orientation mark. Two. Three. And that's as far as I go. Alright, so goes up and up and up. 
then over. And I see the numbers on the stream are dropping because, yes, watching a man play a video game slowly while drawing on a piece of map paper is actually incredibly boring. But that's okay, I'm not taking it personally. I realize that what I'm doing is actually incredibly tedious. It's fun for me, not so much for you. So that is a gigantic five screens across. Why is this room so big? There we go. The bomb. It is the bomb. Alright, what did I say that was? Six rooms across? Five? I think it was five. Crap, I can't remember. I don't think anyone's going to hold it against me if I'm a little inaccurate. It's not like anyone is basing their playthrough of Metroid on my map. Uh, let's see. Leo Stefan says, why am I not using math paper? I think you mean, like, graph paper? Um, well, I'm using dot paper. If you look, I'm not sure if you can tell, but if you look at the stream, you can see there are very faint dots in a grid. So it's like math, it's like graph paper, except the uh, lines aren't as visible uh, and as, as kind of dominating. What? That's some sloppy design. Give me something to do with my new bombs. You jerks. All right, so anyway, yeah, I, I, it, it allows more flexibility. I'm not really making use of it here because it's one screen per square, but on my Metroid maps, it's really allowing me to make the rooms bigger mm -hmm. and provide fine granular detail within the Metroid maps, which is nice. So, you know, if you want the classic look, you can always go with graph paper, but there's something really nice about this dot paper. I just discovered it recently. And it's great! Oh! That was not great. Oh! Samus learned to jump. She's like a white man, even though she's actually a woman, and who knows what race she is. Alright, so... I can't go up from here, but I can go down. But not very far down. Nope. Okay, so with that in hand, I'm trying to remember what's up over in here. Probably nothing that I can actually make use of. I feel like this is kind of out of sync. I think my lines are not consistent. I think there's a door right here that goes all the way across. Oh, I blew it, kids. This map is already a failure. Oh well. I think we'll go on to Norfair now. I've got missiles and bombs and an energy tank. So why the heck not? If I feel... If I were feeling really, really... You know... Ambitious, I would try to go get the Varia suit without without the uh, ice beam and the high jump, but that's really, really tedious to watch someone try to make those jumps, the, the bomb jumps. So I'm not going to subject you to that. You're welcome. I really need to get out of there. Oh, oh, Samus, no! Oh, <laughs> this is not going well. We are now two-thirds of the way through this stream. Um, if you've just tagged along, joined in, and you're wondering what in God's name is happening... Um, so, my name is Jeremy Parrish. I am here for Retronauts. I am doing a live stream of Metroid, which turns 30 soon. I'm streaming the original Famicom Disk System version, simply because it has 
save files and I don't have to write down passwords to continue, which is very important because god, man, that, that was always the worst. Um, and I am playing Metroid the way that I played it 30 years ago, which is um, just kind of making it up as a... no, not making it up as I go along. I am mapping it as I go along. Alright, cross your fingers, hope this is the right one, the, the one with the ice beam, not the one with the death trap. I guess we'll find out. Oh, yes, okay, it's the one with... No, it's the death trap! Oh, what did I do? Oh, no, no. I always make this mistake. So I'm probably just gonna die, because that is... Oh, man. Oh! Oh, it's... Oh, no! Okay, some progress. Oh, I wonder if I could do that. Hmm. I don't think I can. I don't think I can climb all the way up like that. Nope. Okay, well, the stream is not going to end well. Ugh, oh, you bastard! You giant jerkass. Huh, well, okay. I somehow managed to make it out of there. I could have sworn there was an ice beam down there. I guess it's the other one. Oh no! Samus, no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, why am I alive? What is this universe? Okay, it's time for the traditional suicide. <sighs> I blew it. Why won't you die? Come on, Samus. Let's go. One hit... Oh, no, I've got 101 hit points. Oh, of all the times to have an inner energy tank. God. Keep killing me. Come on. I'm sorry. This was... This was a bad idea. I really should have peeked ahead to someone else's map, but I was being all prideful, and it literally goeth before a fall. In this case, I fell into a deep pit and deserved to die. This is the oubliette. This is where you put things when you want to forget about them. Okay. <sighs> Alright. I didn't map the pit. Thanks, Colin Peacock. I'm going to put a little sad face down here. There we go. So now we know what's up in there. Alright, let's save. Shall we? Do I have to flip discs to do that? <sighs> okay, this was the downside of the disc system, I guess. If you clumsily die and save the game, then you gotta do this. Yeah. Alright, that's okay. This is what it was like to be a Japanese kid back in the day. This is probably why Japan doesn't like Metroid all that much. Wow, is that buzzing sound? The disk drive? It doesn't sound healthy. Alright, and... Oh, so saving is like game over, huh? That's lame. Look at that. I beat it with US Gamer with no... Oh, wait, I guess that's um, starting over. Never mind. Okay. Well, let's continue. I don't really need to show... Where are we? The maps. 
on the first page, do I? No, there's nothing I can... Oh, I can go... I can bomb! That's right! Alright, let's, uh... Let's turn this lemon into a lemonade. Maybe a hard lemonade. That sounds appropriate. Alright, I'm gonna do this out of sequence. Instead of going to Norfair, I'm gonna fart around in Crade's Lair for the next mm, 15 minutes or so. Yeah, the looping one noticed that the save screen shows how many days you've been working on the game. Uh, it goes all the way up to 999. So, they were assuming that it would take you three years to finish Metroid. And here we are, back at the beginning. Back when I thought, hey, wouldn't it be fun to map where the bad guys are, too? Well, now we know better. I will try to make this as quick as possible, but wait! What happens if I bomb these guys? Oh my goodness! I've discovered a secret. And it goes down. It's one screen. Two. How deep does this go? Three. Four screens down, my goodness! What madness is this? Uh, Kevin Ball says this is a drunken st stream, right? No, I have a gin and tonic here, but I haven't really been drinking. My hands are kind of full. Uh, Radox says, why not the NES Classic Mini version with save states? Because it's more fun to play on original hardware. No one else does that. That's what makes it interesting. Alright, so down we go into Kraid's Lair. Boop. And please look forward to some loading time, because this is a diskette. That's right, friends. I don't know what that buzzing sound is, though. That's, that's alarming. I don't think the game's supposed to make that noise. Yikes. Okay, so... I think we need to switch over to a different page. Um, if I remember correctly, and I probably don't, you start out kind of in the middle of Crade's Lair. So, or whatever the heck this is called. So, I'm going to just mark myself right here. Alright. I realize that standing around like this, marking things down without pausing, letting you guys listen to music, is going to kill my finish time. I am not getting Naked Samus on this run. Screen down. There's two doors. So I'm going to make a tiny little note on those dots. Red missile door. Uh, let's see. Okay. So we've got the doors there. Let's see, Kevin Ball says, kind of amazing they got so many things right with this game. It's true. There's definitely some BS in this game, like that hole I fell down that killed me. That was some garbage. But for the most part, this is a really well-made game. I'm going to go ahead and pad this out just a tiny bit so that there's a, a, a map square between these doors. 
That is probably not accurate. But it's my map. By God, I can do it the way I want. I'm not getting paid for this. This is not a commission. Alright, down to the next. How many screens was that? That was just like one screen down, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the top one. And two. Okay, yeah, sure. Why not? We'll just space these out evenly, even if that's not quite how it works in the game. I'm gonna put this guy out of his misery. He seems really bored just wandering around in a circle. You know, one thing they did not get right with this game is that every time you continue, you start with 30 health. That is some horse manure. There's no way to quickly fill, fill Samus' health meter. You just have to sit there and farm for energy. All right, down we go. As soon as that dude moves out of the way. Whoa! And one more screen down. Okay. I guess if I were really cool, I would do this thing over here and bomb myself all the way up over, but I'm not that cool. Am I? Am I that cool? I guess I'm not that cool. Well, I sure do suck at that. Alright! Let's check out what's in here. Hey, it's bad stuff. It makes me sad. Why do bad things happen to good people like me? Whoa! So how come she didn't aim up? That was annoying. Alright, that's one screen. Oh, this is really bad! These guys are really strong! I'm gonna die! Especially if that guy flies in at me and kills me. I hate when they do that. Alright. So that was two screens across. Two painful, frustrating screens across. And I can't remember if this is bombable right here. Can I go down into that lava? Acid, whatever the heck that stuff is. It does not appear that I can. Okay, so we will just mosey on up. Math there checks out. And let's see what's in here. It's probably something that's going to kill me. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, my God. Run! No, Sam! Oh! Oh! Okay, I'm gonna play for just a couple more minutes because I can't let it end like that. That was just, that was ignominious. 
elsewhere. I'm going to open up some doors along the way just for jollies. But I guess this is why you're supposed to go to Norfair first. Because this part... Oh, pff. Oh, my... <laughs> All right. Yes. Good times. Good times ahead. So, my thought is I should probably just go on ahead to Norfair. But we'll see what happens. Oh, come on. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> that was so good. Okay. All right. Guys, sometimes I feel like maybe this game it does not have my best interest at heart. Oh man, there's some heresy happening in the threads. Miles Jacob said, I really did not like Super Metroid. It was a cartoon, dumbed-down Metroid for babies. Oh boy. That's when people start sending you bad messages on AIM. <laughs> I see a fight breaking out in the comments already. Keep no no. Okay. I didn't die the same way twice, so that's good. That's something at least. Man, how am I supposed to map walls? Okay, that's gonna be challenging. Also, I have to get past that guy somehow. Ooh, go! Ah, oh, I almost got it. I'm not even sure how I should map that. Uh, okay, I'll, I'm gonna give this area one more try. One more try. But it is almost time for me to quit. And in case you weren't completely convinced of that fact, just check out what's been happening to me here in this stream. Is this more of the same crap? What is up with these screens? What's up, everybody, with this BS? Oh, that's that's what you do. You kite them. I'm on to you, buddy. All right, so that's one screen. Oh, this guy again. Whoa. Oh. No, go, 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 go. Ah! Yikes. Oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> right. You know, I think that's probably enough for today. Okay. So, I put in an hour and reminded myself why it's a really dumb idea to go to Crade's Lair before you go to Norfair. And I think there's uh, something to be said for that. I feel like that was kind of the authentic mapping exploratory experience like oh i'm gonna be so clever and get ahead of myself only to die hideously so thank you for sharing this authentic metroid mapping experience with me i did not make as much progress as, as i had expected but we do have a little bit of crades mare lair mapped we have both parts of brinstar so that's that's not bad it's okay I will play this again some more. My goal is to have this entire game mapped by the time Metroid turns 30, which is August 4th. I, th I think we can do this. And then uh, my goal after that is to have Metroid 2, the original, mapped by the time Samus Returns comes out, which is the end of September. I think we can manage that too. So thanks everyone who watched. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, I hope you will join me again for some of these ridiculous streams, and eventually I will have a complete map, and I don't know that that's actually going to be any kind of accomplishment or have any practical purpose, but what the hell. A good time was had by all, maybe. Thanks again for watching. Keep your eyes on 
retronauts.com because that's where I write stuff. It's great. I love you all. Goodbye. <laughs>